Hello guys, I'm Data and welcome to my channel. It's patch day, we have some interesting news. First of all, we have a new map, new max to buy, and some changes to an existing map. Starting from the easiest things, they are adding a new category of mech, uh, the legendary mechs. They have new hard points and some flavor quirks that distinguish them from the existing ones. Unfortunately, at the moment, they don't offer more CBL bonus than the heroes. I think it's a mistake. If they want to sell these without making the game pay to win, they should, instead of giving them more quirks, they should add more CBL boost. Instead of 30%, it should be 50% to make them more palatable. As for the maps, they have changed, unfortunately, Theratherma Crucible. Uh, Basically, when Pepe gets one, uh, they destroy the maps like this. Uh, this was basically a nice map, balanced. You could do whatever you wanted. Now it has been turned into a brawl pit in the middle. New map. Thanks God, once in a while somebody builds a good map. It's an open map where if you have aim. And if you have skill, you can demolish people who don't. So I see very little room in this map for cheap tricks like hiding like rats behind a building, behind a corner with a 100 alpha strike, heat neutral assault. To say, oh, oh I sneaked upon you, and <laughs> now I have to win. And bullshit like that. So this map is pretty open and uh, it's available, I think, for a lot of strategical gameplay, a lot of power positioning. I think this is one of the best maps ever designed. And now we have this thing. This is very important. Hitbox adjustment. The Fafnir was a walking CT. No more. I think we'll need a survival query adjustment. The new one comes already with the survival query adjustment. Maybe we'll have to tweak the existing ones. And now we are on the quirks. Jenner. The Jenner got an agility buff. Did it need this? No, it didn't. It's just that people who voted this had no idea that the Jenner like all the mediums and the lights, have to be played with full deceleration. Since the Agility Tree remake, full deceleration is a must on pretty much every medium and every light. Because deceleration is what makes your mech feel snappier. It's not acceleration, it's deceleration. So basically this part of the tree here is mandatory on every light and every medium. The result on this is that we have a mech with buffed medium pulse range, abnormal heat perks, 10%, 7.5 laser duration, gigantic survival quirks, so it basically it ends up having sort of clan medium or heavy mech survival. It's pretty crazy. With the agility now of an, an ultralight, 100 deceleration, 90 acceleration. This is going to be one of the strongest lights in the game, like this one and the Jenner K with snobs. It, it already is, to be honest. It already was now even more. With snobs and small lasers. As for these other mechs, Kintaros, what are you going to do with these ones? What is the new stuff to try? Kintaro 18. Kintaro 18 is the one with SRMs. I suggest to build it like this. A fast engine, 5 SRM6s. Kintaro 19 is the one with streaks. It's The new quirks are streaks focused. So a BAP that is also getting changed in, in April. Um, streaks, 
four streak sixes. Then the 20 has been turned into the laser one. So I suggest to go with three large pulses this way. The hero is the MRM one. And I suggest you to build it like this. Two snubs and an MRM 40, right side mounted for right side peak. To be honest, the 18 is the dumb one. Just the no brain, just push SRMs for those with a little skill. The 19 is for the ones who need aim bots against the lights. And the ones who actually require skill to be played, and I think I recommend them for better players, are the 20 with three large pulses and the GB, the hero, with uh, two snubs and an MM40. Uh, this costs MCs, so I'm, I'm going to show you how it performs in terms of heat dissipation. It's a side beaker, of course. And then we have this one nerfed. That's fine because the Dervish XM um, allowed a build that was intended to get nerfed on the 6MR. The 6MR got nerfed, the 6M didn't. We just forgot it. It's a 2MRM30 build. Uh, the Dervish basically had the best farming build on the best chassis with the best shape, with the best everything and uh, it reduced the game diversification. It already benefits from the missile doors bonus, so less damage when they're closed, and uh, there is no longer delay when, you, when they're closed. You no longer have to open them since uh, quite a bit of patches. So it's just a free buff, a free defensive buff. It's still one of the strongest mechs in the game, no doubt. So I'm happy with the nerf. I actually suggested this nerf. I basically suggested the entire patch except for this one and the Jenner. Uh, champions. This one, or the 1N, I think you should try it with AC5s, two AC5s and three light PPCs, like this. The other one, the 2N instead, is three AC5s and two light PPCs. Then there is the 1 and B. You should try 4 AC2s and 4 small lasers. This one, I don't know what they had in mind for this one. It's maybe the NLB20 and some backup lasers. This one is 6 medium lasers and a Gauss. Yeah, this one. It's six meds and a gauss. And the other one, I think they had in mind an LB20 and some backup lasers. This is just a fix. All the other arms with this identical number of uh, hard points already had this quirk. This one was missing. It's just a fix. AT, AT is a fix for uh, a, a bad awesome. In fact, I don't even have it between the favorites. Yeah, with some sort of mixed build, pulse laser range, maybe Bowser was thinking to some sort of pulse build. I have no fucking clue. Maybe something with Excel and medium pulses. Probably. Maybe something like this.
More or less, maybe 230s. Yeah. Anyways, uh, Hadamoto, well deserved a nerf. If you have a mech that goes 50% faster than 48 kph max with twice the agility and the same damage potential, there is no point bringing assaults that are slower than 60, 65 kph. So this is a well deserved nerf. Darwolves, the ones without ECM are pretty bad, were pretty bad. I hope that with this buff they get somewhat decent. This is is here because it was just missing from the original pass. Uh, for some reason, somebody, the majority of the guys who voted back then, were of the idea that just having one extra laser in the CT compared to the B on a mech that has like a quadrillion laser hard points was enough to justify the removal of all the quirks in the CT. That was idiotic. It took a year to fix it. Thanks God it got fixed. And that's pretty much it. So in the end, you should give a try to the Fafnirs, to the Jenner, to the Kintaros, the Champions. They are all new and good. I'm sure they will add some diversity to the game. Also, something that you may want to try on the new map is some bullshit like this, the ultraviolet, with now 5 heat, 15 velocity, 10 cooldown because of the Omnipod combinations, 4 LM20s, 1 LM15, 1 LM10, the new map is pretty open, you may actually give this one a try or if you want something more flexible you can try to spam in the new map something like this four larm 20s and two large pulses just if you want to try to learn on the new map and see how it is i hope you guys enjoyed this kind of content if so remember to subscribe to my channel hit the like button share the content with your friends and hit the bell to enable the notifications i'll catch you guys next time